Hey Scribblers, Greg Guntanas here, mystery writer helping you on your writing journey. I release videos every week, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Today's video, the target word count for your novel. Let's get to it. So why does word count matter? Well, a couple reasons. First, from a reader's perspective, if our novel is way too long, chances are that reader is going to get bored and their enthusiasm to read is going to fizzle out, they're going to put our novel away. On the flip side, if our novel is way too short, then chances are readers are not going to have a satisfying experience going through our novel. So we want to avoid being way too short and we want to avoid being way too long. Now the other reason why word count is very important when writing a novel is a matter of economics. This is the publishing uh, side of things. If you're trying to traditionally publish, then this is very important because a lot of times publishers, they don't want to commit a lot of money to a book that is going to be very long. It, ta it costs money to print books, obviously. So from the traditional publishing perspective, chances are they're not going to devote a lot of money to print a 150,000 word manuscript uh, for a debut author or for a lot of times for any author. Um, you know, given uh, the, the economic uh, situation and the constraints. If you're self-publishing, similar thing applies. If for print on demand, it costs more money to print books of a longer length than of a shorter length, obviously. It's simple uh, math there. So as writers, what we need to do is we need to really find the sweet spot. We need to find the right amount of words that will give readers a satisfying emotional experience and that will allow readers to go through a lot of ups and downs um, in the story. And I'll link to one of my other videos about plotting and about the three-act structure. But once we have our word count, then it becomes a lot easier to write the novel once we add in our plot points and our three-act structure. So basically, once we know the word count, then we can apply our structure to that and then writing becomes a lot simpler. So for example, I write mysteries, a typical word count or an average word count for a mystery could be anywhere from 70,000 to 90,000, maybe even upwards of 100,000 for a heftier mystery. But let's use 80,000 words as an example. So for 80,000 words, if I'm doing a three act structure, the first act of the novel, the beginning, is roughly about a fourth of the book, right? About 25% of the book. So if I know my target word count is going to be 80,000 words, then that means that my beginning of the book, when I, by the time I get to that first plot point, I'm looking at about 20,000 words. Now the middle of the book, the second act, is going to be about... 50% of the book or half of the book, the meat of the book is in the second act. So if I have an 80,000 word manuscript and 20,000 words is going to be that first act, then double that is going to be my second act, right? 40,000 words. So already we're at 60,000 words for the manuscript and now the end, the act three, that's the last fourth of the novel approximately we have another 20,000 words. So basically word count not only helps us to appease the reader and to appease the publisher and to, to make things just a little bit better for us, but also from a writing perspective, having a target word count really makes the writing process a little bit simpler and a little bit easier to visualize. So I'm going to go through um, a variety of genres and just give you some target word counts to keep in mind when you're working on your project. Mystery, 70,000 to about 100,000. Thriller, 80,000 to about 100,000. YA, 50,000 to about 80,000. Fantasy, 90,000 to 110,000. Sci-fi, 90,000 to 120,000. Middle grade, 25,000 to 50,000. Romance, 50,000 to 100,000. Historical fiction, 100,000 to 120,000. And there you have it, the target word count for your novel. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I was going through the different genres, there are some similarities across many of them. So for the adult fiction, for a lot of those genres that uh, cater to the adult readers, 
the sweet spot seems to be about 80,000 words. So if you're writing some type of genre fiction and it caters to adult readers, I would try and keep your novel to around 80,000 words. That's a good sweet spot. If you're writing for young adult readers, around 60 to 70,000 words is a good sweet spot. And if you write middle grade, a little bit lower than that. But the bottom line is, those are some of the ballpark numbers to keep in mind. Now, of course, there are outliers. There are authors that have written books that have had really humongous word counts uh, and the book went on to do well. And of course, there's authors that have written really short books and those books have gone on to do well. However, when you're starting out and you're trying to get into publishing, whether it be traditional or self-publishing, it's good to just have a, a good length novel that is not really long, not really short, and it's something that stands a better chance of connecting with the readers. So instead of thinking about the outliers, think about ballpark or think about that sweet spot. Now I'm going to put a link down below with some websites that have um, some target word count figures. You can take a look at all that if your um, genre wasn't mentioned. Uh, you know, in this video, I tried to include a bunch of different uh, fiction genres as I as I could. Um, but yeah, take a look at that if uh, if you need to find your specific genre or subgenre. But the bottom line is, finding your target word count will help you to write your novel and it'll make the writing process a little bit smoother. So uh, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any comments for scribblers out there, make sure you leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. And as always, keep scribbling.